Badenoch under friendly fire. This is a story I brought you at least a couple of weeks ago now, and I predicted that Kemi Badenoch was going to come under serious fire from her own party. She's appeared in front of the European Scrutiny Committee and her own Tory colleague, David Jones MP, who are who have been grilling her extensively about the fact that this government has now decided not to scrap all of the European laws that it said it was going to, but instead is just going to cherry pick a few to try and appease the public who voted in the majority and in record numbers to leave the European Union. Badenoch herself was a strong Brexiteer. She ran a strong leadership contest last time round as well and was fast becoming one of the most popular people inside the party. But unfortunately she is now dropping in popularity amongst members because she seems very happy to keep her ministerial salary and tow the government line, even if that means betraying the majority of the Conservative Party and its membership who of course believe in Brexit and believe in taking back control of this country from Brussels. Whoever politically advises her is not doing a very good job of doing so. They should have said to her straight away, as soon as she was going to be the fall guy for this policy and announcing it to the media, announcing it to the backbenchers, they should have said resign in principle. She would have made herself quite easily the next favourite to be the next Conservative leader and it wouldn't be that hard to really bring Rishi Sunak down either or wait till the next general election and she would have probably won the contest. As it stands now, she's missed her resigning opportunity, and she is just coming under fire for towing Rishi's line. And I'm afraid this is just very disappointing, because it is only a bid to keep her ministerial salary.